Think Hawaii Five O warm thoughts. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Book him, Dano. Magnum yep. PI. Oh yeah, was he Hawaii also? Yep. Yeah. Oh hey. Did I, Magnum PI have a helicopter? It did. His buddy did. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 TC. Yep. Hmm. And the Mosley. I can't remember his first name. The actor. Yeah, yeah. He Something died a couple years yeah. ago. That's right, didn't he? Yeah. I think the only one, the only ones left from the original series is um, Rick Se- and Tom. Selleck and 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 uh, Rick, yeah. Yeah. Didn't Selleck try to steal a bunch of water? <laughs> Didn't he get I heard trouble? that. Was it him or was it somebody <laughs> in California, right? Like for his yeah. ranch or yeah. something? Something. I need yeah. to grow, yeah. I need more water. Yeah. You understand. Well, hey, no everybody. Way. Welcome to another exciting episode of Our Town uh, Podcast. Extraordinary. And coming to you from the very cold tonight. Oh, yeah. Uh, historic Renton Civic, Civic Theater, Theater. Yeah. in beautiful downtown Renton. It's a historic temperature. <laughs> it's you know, a historic. There's, 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 uh, <laughs> oh That's a good point, Mike. That's yes, it is cold, so if you can see some uh, breath from yeah. us, it's That's not because we is. haven't brushed. It's because <laughs> yeah. it's cold Simple up in here. Simple chronic halitosis. Yeah. Yeah, none of us know how to turn on the heat. I think there's something well, wrong with the, yeah, the boiler. The boiler did a little Mike thing. Knows how to do it? I, I know I turned it on, but I don't. I don't know how to fix a boiler. Yeah. I really don't. Well, if it gets too cold, or for some other reason, you guys are feeling unsafe oh. tonight. The safe word is <laughs> slush. Slush. <laughs> Slushy Apropos. Out. Yeah, because it's cold. We didn't yeah. have the uh, snowmageddon as no. promised, no. Uh, but it remained it pretty cold. damn cold sure all did. weekend. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Sure it, it has been a tip, but nipple. Though. Nipply, yeah. yes. Very yes. nippling. Yeah, no, it was in the teens. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was 19 last, was it last Thursday? Man. Yeah, something like that. Now we're back to the rain, everybody. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, low 40s and rain. I'm High cons- 30s and rain. I'm yeah. considering yeah. going over and grabbing my jacket because it, it is, is cold. cold. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> I'm flexing. Do it, do it, do Doing it. my Kegels right now. <laughs> <laughs> do Kegels it, keep it you warm? It warms your core. <laughs> it warms core. Deep, deep in the core. <laughs> <laughs> You're only as, yeah, only as yeah, comfortable as your sphincter. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where you do yeah. your Kegels? All right. Well, well, I guess there's nowhere yeah, else. A little really. north. Yeah. A little north of there. <laughs> I mean, no, you, you can have like, uh, Kegels for uh, you. Know. Gentlemen, I've got a trivia game uh, oh. for you. Is this, and we'll see who can guess. Let no. me get through all of them first okay. though, ooh, before, ooh, you, ooh, before you throw it out. Ooh, there, ooh. This guy is an American actor, and he turned down several. I think he's the king of the turn down movie roles. No. Uh, the first one he turned down uh, is. Al Pacino's character, Michael Corleone, yeah. in uh, Godfather, um, he turned down Jack Nicholson's role in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Oh, man. Which I haven't seen that movie in years, but oh, I love rough. the book. Oh, the book right is on. really good. Is that Ken Kesey? Who's that? Yeah, it, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test yeah. guy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he turned down, uh, right after uh, Sean Connery decided not to be James Bond anymore, he turned down oh, uh, the role that ended up going to Roger. <laughs> Or more uh, because he didn't think um, uh, Americans would accept an American British uh, American British agent, yeah. right? Hmm. Oh, uh, he's right. And I think he, he's right. He turned down Richard's Ge- Richard Gere's role in Pretty Woman. The oh one with, man! Uh, with uh, Julia Roberts, Julie Roberts. launch Julia Roberts, right? And this is the one you guys might be able to guess on. Uh, he turned down Harrison Ford's role as Han, Han Solo. What? what? Yes. No. So this guy was the, t- the and, king. and he hasn't committed suicide. <laughs> well, he's this dead. He's passed oh, away. Oh, well, sorry. Okay. I'll give you another clue. He has passed uh, away recently. Um, but uh, any guesses? Burt Reynolds. Yes, it's Burt Reynolds. No! Did you see the... <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, it's Burt Reynolds. Oh, I was kidding. Can you believe that? Burt, But he I'm ended shocked. up making, like, uh, uh, you know, Cannonball Run 3 or whatever. Oh, yeah. Smoking oh, I'm absolutely the band shocked. 3. No, I actually well, didn't I mean, see that. He, he, uh, he wasn't in either of those sequels. He was in uh, one of the sequels. He was in Smokey oh, and the Band. He, he, he had or two. Or two. Come on. Maybe two. Brief, he had a very brief cameo in three. Okay. And how old would he have been with Pretty Woman? I mean, He's older than Richard Gere, right? Yeah, he would have probably been early 50s. Yeah. Hmm. 
I would guess, because he passed away, what, about two or three years ago? Yeah, something. That, yeah, that guy, died on, I mean, he was an American. Everybody loved that guy. Five yeah. years ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Five years ago. Jeez, that's bizarre. Yeah, can you but believe But he could that? not have been hand solo. Come on. Well, he, yeah. I don't think he would have been any good in any of those roles. Hmm. So I mean, it's probably good that he turned I, it down. I but. could have seen him as Han Solo. I think the character Jeez. would have been. All right. He would have had that... that that roguish hey, hey, bravado, hey, much more yeah, bravado yeah, even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he would have Jeez, had, he would have had the same swagger, but I think he would have been funnier. Right on. That's true. Yeah, because he does awesome. have a, a sparkle in his eye. He really yeah. does. And he would he would have oh, he would have he would have chewed the scenery when he when he, oh, whenever yeah. he had to, to flirt with uh, Leia. So yeah, did he have the chops to do like Mark uh, Michael Corleone? I don't know. He's he's delivered before, right? Yeah. He, he has deliverance. Yeah, <laughs> deliverance. as an example. Yeah, I still have not been yeah. able to watch that. All no, the way it's rough. Which one? Uh, Godfather. No, no, no. Yeah, and is he in a uh, uh, deliverance? Deer Hunter. No, no, no. It's the uh, the other. Uh, yeah. yeah, John that Saxon. The, yeah, John Saxon and uh, uh, God, more cowbell. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a. Yeah, Walk Walk in, in, yeah. yeah, I'm trying to think of other really dramatic roles with Bert, but I think he was capable. I really do. Uh, yeah, geez. Was he in Stop or My Mom Will Shoot? No. 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 That was uh, Stallone. It was that Stallone. Stallone. Yeah. Stallone. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Who I don't know. I don't know if he can deliver that type of performance or not. Yeah. Maybe. yeah. But uh, I don't know. I think Bert was capable. All right. No, yeah. I'm not saying I'm not Plus putting he was one that, I mean, the guy, he was on top of the world. Yeah. He was just yeah. the sex symbol. And I mean, and he did Playgirl, right? I think. In, was did he, he married to Lonnie so, Anderson? Yeah. Uh, they at least dated. They I were think. married. Yeah. Were they married? Yeah. Okay. Man. They had a contentious divorce, though. I right? think so. They, had, they had a rough divorce because yeah. uh, I remember oh, yeah, seeing uh, him on The Tonight Show. And, and Mark Summer, the, the, the game show host from Nickelodeon, made reference to him being divorced. And. Hmm. and uh, there's a video of it on, on YouTube where he, like, grabs a glass of water, just pours it over Mark's head. Oh, because he's pissed. Oh, yeah. And he's like, yeah, that's not funny, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Man. And an A-lister, right? So he's not going to take any shit from anybody. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like, you're just a game show host for a oh, yeah, kid's and, network. And bros with Sally Field, right? Yes, he got to do a couple mil- movies yeah. with her, right? Yeah, and that, I and mean, I think they yeah. dated. I, think I feel she, like they did, too, yeah. She wrote in her uh, autobiography about their relationship and huh. stuff. Ah, huh, Bert. Because he was quite a bit older. Yeah. Oh, yeah. maybe. She's one of the best American actors of all yeah. time. She's amazing. I, I know about 2007, 2008, there was a company out of Florida that uh, would take the new Camaros. Oh, and make them. And then they they made body kits so that it looked like a modern version of the Bandit. Nice. The Firebird. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. And they actually got Burt Reynolds to go sign a bunch of them. So, oh, that's cool. Ooh. Right on. It has, and it has, like, the, the logo on it is like the cowboy hat and like a Oh, like a, oh my a, God, it's a, so good. And that's Jackie uh, Gleason, too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. I'm going to get that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think that was one of, one of his last movies, too, yeah, I think. Gleason? Oh, man. Yeah, jeez. Oh, man. Uh, he was also, Gleason, the other Gleason movie that I really like and still like to this day, even though it's, it's problematic, to say the least, is The Toy. Oh, with, yeah. With Pryor. With, with Pryor. Oh, yeah. 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 It's a yeah. great movie. I haven't seen that in 25 years. The Wonder <laughs> Wheel. Don't die it's on the Wonder Wheel. Ah, Pryor. Right. That guy, oh, man, he slayed me, though. Yeah. Richard Pryor right. records and turned my me into favorite, what I am. My favorite is The Exorcist. <laughs> when you talk about The Exorcist, <laughs> wouldn't have been no movie if there been black people in it. <laughs> They're like, hello, goodbye. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Murphy uh-huh. did a similar joke about going into a haunted house and like, to the, Amityville or whatever. Like, Get yeah. out. Too bad we can't stay, Too bad baby. We can't stay. It's one of my favorite <laughs> Gotta go. bits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I was oh, I was hoping in, in Yeah, his, and I mean really. If if, I, if my house is so there's flies and blood coming out of the walls, it's just like I'm not no, we're gonna be fine. It's like no. go. No. Go somewhere. Call <laughs> Servy Master when, or whatever it is. Get when he served Pro. When he did that <laughs> first Disney haunted mansion movie, I thought for sure he was gonna put that line in there. Too bad we can't stay, baby. 
<laughs> yeah. And then, you know, oh, going into a haunted house it, it, it falls into the category of that's some white people shit, yeah. you know? The classically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost hunters, yeah. It's mostly white folk. It? <laughs> it totally is. Why not get yeah. into the running yeah. car? Yeah. There, there, actually, no, there is, there is a YouTube channel, and I don't remember the name of it, but there is a couple black dudes who, I actually think it's on Discovery as well, uh, a couple oh, black God. dudes who are brothers, actual, like, family related yes. brothers and not just brothers yes you know, yes thank um, you <laughs> that do like ghost hunting and it, oh man yeah Jeez, that's I've cool. seen clips and it's, yeah. it's actually pretty entertaining. So. We need to do a ghost hunt here. We need to spend the night here. We need to do like a oh, slumber man. party. Oh yeah, here. I, yeah, I don't know. At There's, the theater, yeah, no, maybe over the summer. Yeah. Do, you, do you have cool, like? Though. Do you have any any of the gear that they use for? No, like, we'll make it up though, Todd. You we'll, do, Todd. You can, you're the Ghostbuster. <laughs> well, you, you got, got the stuff, Ghostbuster right? gear. Oh yeah. I mean, I can I can bring my my dirt and prop, medium. My props. Oh yeah, we can totally have. <laughs> I sense you know. I sense it's a. Uh, I've got some electrical meters and stuff yeah, we can yeah, bring yeah. in and bring in the camera and see if it picks up anything. If you oh, have man. one that does like night vision, nah, I don't really, but we can figure something out. Can I have okay. snot bubbles like yes. a Blair Witch project? <laughs> We're only going to do it if you have That's snot it, bubbles. Anybody who has snot bubbles and doesn't win an acting award, they, they just show yeah. it's rigged. Maybe we can get <laughs> a... that's uh, real cinema. Maybe we can do a not a party kind of thing. I don't know if Bill would allow us to do it. Bill, if you're watching, look allow us to do this but we could bring in a medium right oh, no, there's, sure. and there's, have them hang out yeah. have them spend the night, Not the whole night. <laughs> lock them in you're stuck <laughs> like now it's felonious <laughs> we could have bill actually lock the gate yeah. out front uh, so we can get so out so we can't escape <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we can get uh, just to help well, us with like door. sound effects and stuff <laughs> yeah oh man you can get just to help us with some sound effects and some lighting or whatever. Oh, yeah and people have said that this building definitely has a Kind of I'm surprised they haven't done like an, a legitimate haunted house kind of thing here yeah, in, on the yeah, stage. Yeah, makes sense. I don't know if it just always runs into uh, other a show or something. Sure. But they should totally do one though, because the well, Is yeah. Cloth yeah. Theater yeah. used to do one. Huh? They would they would rent out a space over in Crossroads or wherever they can get a spot and set up a a haunted house, and they'd have. The feeder kids do all the nice. scaring and stuff. Nice. Sure, no, I did no, that one no. year, and it's like I don't want to. I don't want to learn lines. I just want to scare people. I just want to scare people. Jump out. Ring, ding, ding, ding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we do uh, Evil Dead the musical though. So yeah, that's sure. something. That's it's true. not scary, but it's a delight. Yeah, yeah. that's true. No, I think we should. I think we talked. Todd and I, at least Todd and I, talked about this. I think last year, but uh, that'd be fun to come in and do, do sure, something no, stupid. Oh, just, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I think let's it'd fix be the boiler. <laughs> <laughs> let's get the boiler. Well, what are we do it in the yeah. summertime when it's, <laughs> yeah, it's freaking like the ninety degrees outside. outside. And we're in, we're in here just wearing our boxers and, and like in white beaters and going. It's so fucking hot. It's so, <laughs> it's so fucking hot. <laughs> So, yeah, I can't take we, off we any got, more clothes. Turn the lights off. We got to roam the entire theater with flashlights and <laughs> oh, infrared. Yeah. I would, so, I would nice. be down for doing that. Oh yeah, yeah. And then just video it all. We'll just have Bailey come I mean, down with the camera. Hey, and just, <laughs> the the next Ghostbusters movie is coming out in like the third week of March. So oh, geez. Nice. it's a springtime release. Twenty second springtime. All right. Well, geez. oh hey. Let's jump into some headlines. Nice. Meanwhile, yeah. back at the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Back on Did you guys Earth. know that uh, Fox News thinks that Taylor Swift is a government asset? <laughs> oh, my God. Is that a, a outrage of the week? <laughs> no. Well, there was a guy, and I, I recognize him, but I wouldn't know his name. It's like Messer or something like that. He's a he's a commentary guy on Fox News. <laughs> but he was talking about <laughs> they, how... They all are, really. Then. Uh, Swift has really got to be a government asset because uh, around four years ago, the Pentagon uh, uh, had a meeting, a NATO meeting, and this civilian person came out and was talking about um, combating online in misinformation, right? <laughs> and they said, you know, you can, you can look at Taylor Swift and say, wow, she's got, you know, a bedillion amount of followers, right? And she can control the way these people think. And so the fringe, I don't know no, if it's a QAnon sure. thing. Yeah. So, oh my God, she must be, because she has, so she 
she's come out and said, uh, go vote, right? And she yeah. took a photograph of herself and like posted on Twitter. 300,000 people went yeah. and registered. Which, which last time I checked, that was actually patriotic. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. exactly. But they're saying that she can control uh, people going out to vote. Yeah. She's uh, voiced her support for so, Biden. Sounds like they want to regulate businesses. Yeah. Sounds like they want to regulate the... Uh, yes. Right? So the, right, the social media businesses, yeah. but accuse huh. her of being huh. a an asset for yeah. Biden. That's how the algorithm works, man. Yeah. That's how it did. It, 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 it snowballs out of control, yeah. right? Yeah. Or yeah. into control, however you want to look yeah. at it, right? But uh, so you blame the game. Yeah, I think it also kind of like gives you tunnel vision, so you don't ever see anything other than the stuff you're interested in. Too. Yeah. Well. yeah. Well, they're also by design. Saying, Would you say that's by design? Oh, totally is. Yeah. Totally is. Yeah. They're also saying that uh, she's dating a football player, Travis Kelsey. If you didn't know, and Kelsey is a spokesperson, I think, for Pfizer right now, and he's doing commercials where he's gotten his flu and COVID shots. Oh my you know? god. And it's like, oh, they're trying to make you go get shots, and you know, trying to make you uh, get the five G and all that <laughs> get, stuff. Get the right? jabs. Yeah. <laughs> get, oh, yeah. Hey, I don't I'm know. still waiting for my my 5g to activate man yeah. i want my free internet but the rumor is is that uh they used and it wasn't the dude from uh it wasn't louis armstrong it was i think the guy from uh uh multi not maltese falcon was a casablanca i think they used him to sort of uh um, control the narrative to african-american people in the country way back in like the 40s and 50s and they say they used nina simone and maybe not not even as uh, her knowing it to dispel information, right? Oh, wow. To release stuff uh, to the public. Um, like they'll feed her information and then she'll go talk about it, right? Sure. So they're saying that, you know, this is how the government works. Like a coin type yeah, yeah. I don't know, because remember the CIA, the FBI, et cetera, have acted poorly yes. in the name of American citizens, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. It doesn't mean they do every time. No. But they certainly have. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I don't know. And, I don't know. The, the, if so, then there's an easy remedy for that. Don't listen to Taylor Swift. Right. right. Let's say Taylor Swift is trying to tell you whatever. Don't listen. Yeah. Nobody's making you yeah. listen to her. Nobody is making anybody. I don't listen yeah. to Kid Rock. I don't listen to Taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So are they not considered <laughs> yeah, the spokespeople of, of state power? It's some the same kind of thing. thing right? like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Trump it, invited them into the Oval Office. Yeah. So and I don't know. I don't necessarily find that. You know, people are like, just shut up and sing. It's like I don't think you can divorce the artist from their citizen. And there's no right? reason they shouldn't. If you don't like yeah. what they have to say, and then that's don't fine too. To then they, yeah, yeah, don't purchase their art or whatever yeah. it is. And that's fine. Do, that's do you fine. Know who, They're not policymakers. No. Do you, right? know, do you know who played uh, at Mar-a-Lago for uh, New Year's Eve? Uh, uh, Rob Van Winkle, man. Everyone knows who that is. really? Yeah. Oh, like man. Vanilla Ice? Vanilla Ice, yeah. yeah. Huh. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, he's a Florida guy. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I bet that's I mean, not a terrible a gig. Paid gig. Oh, right? no, I bet. Well, if they pay you. Five grand? Because the Trump organization is famous for not paying their vendors. Yeah. Famously. Ten yeah. grand? Money up front? No, I bet. No, no, he could get ten out of that all day. Yeah. All day. Yeah. And, 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 uh, he should be able to. Vanilla Ice is more into, like, in real estate these days. I think so, but I bet he can DJ or something he like DJs that. DJs occasionally, yeah. I think. And they're doing $10,000 plates there anyway. Yeah. Five to ten all the time, right? Yeah. So it's so like... it's a drop in the bucket for them. So yeah, and, and then we get to hobnob with other people willing to spend that kind of money. So basically so. what they probably did is, Here, here's a plate, Rob. Help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. And, and set up, and then you know. And them for it. <laughs> yeah, and then somebody we're gonna, has we're gonna work their out. wedding, and then somebody else has yeah. him work somewhere what, else. What, I, I get. what I think it happened is instead of paying him 10 grand, they just gave him a plate full of food. Yeah, one plate. <laughs> it had better be a heaping fucking plate, dude. <laughs> yeah, for 10 grand. <laughs> oh, I, they man. better have cilantro on it. Mike. No, but like, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, better have, yeah. Hey, just, just a plate of cilantro. That's your 10 grand. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, it, man. And a Campbell's, a, a, in a, in a can of Campbell's, like, mushroom soup. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, I've never spent any time in Florida, so I have no... I, I spent no a week there. Yeah, but I, I'm not going to hang out with people, obviously. I, I, We're paying $10,000 for a meal. It's not really my yeah. not really my scene. There's so. nothing in Florida that I can't find in California. I bet you're right. Uh, so, well, alligators. That I want to yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to yeah, see. Bet, bet, bet. I've been to Miami, Orlando, and the Tampa, St. Petersburg area. And I, I, I really I, like Tampa, St. Petersburg. I was in 99 during the Super Bowl. I was down there in uh, South Beach, Miami area. 
Yeah. So I saw the, like the the Versace house and yeah, where they filmed some movies and stuff too. But <laughs> beyond that, I, it was just a beach town and. And I bet it's like a dance club scene and stuff like that. Yeah, there's dance clubs everywhere. I I, 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 I've been to the Panhandle, and I don't ever need to go back there. (laughs) I bumped bumped elbows with a couple people. I had no idea who it were until I got home. I was like, oh, that guy's famous. Holy shit. Who was it? Um, He was a hip-hop guy, and I can't think of his name right now. But uh, gotcha. it was like right before he like got insanely famous. <laughs> well, speaking of getting insanely wow. famous, I'll uh, settle for insane. Your 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 my pillow guy, Mike Lindell, oh, is yeah. saying oh, yeah. that uh, Fox News is trying to cancel him yeah. because they are refusing to run his ads, and he says it's because they're trying to cancel him. The real reason is because he hasn't paid his bill. <laughs> he hasn't paid his bill, oh. he, and he says, "Well, I paid him in in December," and they're like, "Yeah, what you paid in us in December?" Gift certificates. <laughs> <laughs> But what they paid him in December was like for ads that yeah. he ran back in June and July. So, yeah, so why does he get press? Right. Why, why does any? Why does he? Why does he get to say anything? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What a dingbag. Because he's a, yeah. because a, he's a white dingbag. guy yeah. from the Midwest. So he's been going on like Steve Bannon's podcast. Ugh, and stuff, what a poisonous piece of to, shit! Yeah. That guy. Can we? Can you get? Uh, can I fight that guy? Yeah, I would love it. Oh if my god! That. I, I really want, want to fight I, Steve Bannon. I want real to see bad. you beat the ever living crap out of Mike Lindell. Shapiro. How about oh, together? I would fight Ben Shapiro. And ben Shapiro's younger than I am. He should want to fight me. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. In any, any form he wants. I'll fight him in water, in the air, on land. I don't give a fuck. Anywhere, dude. <laughs> I know, swear to God. I, like, I, I swear to God. I challenge Mike to an air guitar contest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, like, jumping out of an airplane after one parachute. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. I'd yeah. fucking whoop that dude's ass. Yeah. I would give, fucking give, pull give his him. eyes out with my teeth. Give him, a, <laughs> give him a give him a bag yeah. of of like a of like anchors or something. Because yeah. he knows dumb, he's in bed dumbass. with people who will murder Jews. Yeah. He knows he is. Yeah. He knows he is. Right, and that's the fucking uh, worst he, kind he, of Jew. He, he, he thinks, <laughs> he thinks yeah. he's untouchable because he's he's one of them. Air quotes. Yeah, man, you only are as long as you are, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's like that dude yeah. from the uh, Proud Boys, right? Oh the, yeah, the brown Enrique, guy. And Enrique Torres. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like yeah, they'll put up with you for so long, but yeah. At the end, uh, end of the day, who's the most the character in Django, Samuel L. Jackson's guy, yeah. the oh, most despicable yes. <laughs> yes. piece of shit in the movie? In the whole movie. Isn't even Don Johnson? Right. Isn't it's, even uh, uh, Leonardo? Right. It's it's Samuel it, L. Yes. Because yeah. he's, he's a sellout the, the piece of shit. Slave, yeah. Oh man. Uh, oh, I, oh, what a guy. What a guy. Can we have a moment for Samuel? Dude. <laughs> oh, yes, we can. Oh, then, my God. He, I, I think either they, they changed the, the the cameras or something, or they painted him darker, because he was really dark it's in that fantastic. movie. Oh, really? Maybe yeah. the lighting. So good. So he, good. He, he, looked, he, he, looked, <laughs> he looked way darker than he is in everything else, I think. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, my God. Well, speaking of uh, Ben Shapiro, uh, Republicans in West Virginia are trying to pass a whole bunch of bills that is going to make transgender folks uh, illegal to be in public and stuff (laughs) because they're trying to pass it where uh, they become an obscene thing. Yeah. And it's just fucking disgusting. Um, So there's a whole bunch of I, I think I read like five different little bills that they're trying to pass. And it's everything from, uh, you know, bathroom bills to not allowing them in certain public yeah. places. Um, God, that you, assholes. Uh, it's just ridiculous, yeah. isn't well, it? Well, it's it's denying somebody's basic civil rights. Yes. Right. Yeah. Because, yeah. Uh, uh, your freedom of mobility to walk around town and shit is not supposed to be fucking. Yeah. Hindered. And and by what standard are they obscene? By who? What standard is that? Exactly. Is that what made up standard is yeah. that? Who standard is it? Because I'll bet you a dollar there's not any transgender gender ban in uh, the New Testament. Right. I'll bet you a dollar right now. Yeah. Anybody. Yeah. yeah. Right? And guess what? Even if there was, even if there's nine million of them in every holy book of all time, our government is not based upon holy books. And no. You, so it you, really doesn't matter. And you know what's gonna happen is is they're gonna they're gonna accuse a, a cisgendered woman to being trans and they're gonna get sued into the ground. Well, I hope they do. Yeah, I they, hope they, they don't they pass these wrong. stupid laws. No, it's and I don't know what the makeup uh. of the state house in West Virginia is, and I don't know if they have a majority enough to pass this stuff, but it's everything from uh, requiring somebody to go through 
uh, a mental health check to convince them not to become transgendered before you allow them to go forward with yeah. anything. They, they, and it's just, and kids, you know, anybody under eighteen, you can't even discuss it with them. You can't bring it up in school. You can't have the counselors and the teachers mention it to them. Nothing. The funny thing is, though, when you when you're deciding Why? to transition, that's one of the things you have to do. You have to go through mental health counseling I, yeah, for more than a year. Anyway. More, I, I think yeah. it's a couple years. Yeah. You have to do for a couple years, and at the end of the two years, they go, are, are you sure you still want yeah, to do sorry, this? Sorry, Todd, it's not. I, I totally agree with you. You're saying they're like hardcore trying to, it's Proceed like counseling yeah. to talk them out of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, say, yeah. No, you I know, don't I need know this. You, I know you've been called in a... They, they, it's the pray the gay away yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. I know, I know what you're trying to say. I'm just, yeah. All I was saying is that yeah. they kind of already do something like that yeah. already to kind no, of make I, sure. I don't know necessarily have a problem with that. Yeah. I don't either. Sure, I think that's, but, uh, that's, you know, just, to just try to convince somebody to not be. Well, and isn't this the party of like, we should leave everybody alone <laughs> yes. to their freedom and liberty it, and all that shit? It's until like, it, yeah. until some made up standard is upset. Some weird made up shit, dude. It's not grounded. It's not based in anything. No. Um, they're they're all about you can't fuck with my liberties. Right. I can fuck with yours. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. how they are. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, speaking of fucking with liberties, uh, oh, Florida in Escambia County, we talked about Florida up in the Panhandle. They've pulled s over sixteen hundred books from shelves in uh, public libraries. Is this the one where they included the dictionary too? <laughs> Yes, so I was going to say, they, they had, uh, like, Tale of Two Cities, uh, Anne Frank's uh, Diary of a Young Girl. They pulled, but they pulled eight encyclopedias and five different dictionaries off the shelf. A fucking dictionary. That all it's there to do Wait, is define what a word is. Is is this dictionary have the word woke in it? No, it probably <laughs> does. It probably does, Todd, but, uh, uh, I mean. What the fuck is going on, people? Come on, stop it. Stop doesn't it. doesn't stop Webster's? It. Well, and why Webster's? We, we need to nip this Taliban Taliban uprising yes. in the bud, yeah. or it gets worse. <laughs> it always gets worse. It does. Yeah. People, we got to stop it. It's dumb. God, and that like, doesn't mean every single thing needs to be thrown at every single child all of the time. But guess what? That's where parents one-on-one -on -one can make decisions for their family. Yeah, come yeah. on, moms yeah. right? for liberty. Sure, sure, sure. Just Stand parents in general, right? Stand up and right? take it's care like, of your own yeah. kids. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, heard, I heard a new term for those women. Clanned like, Karenhood. Nice. Nice. And books yeah. don't make people do no. radical shit. No. They really don't, man. No. It's like, it's weird. Just like and again, video it's games that made don't make up, you violent. It's, it's just because, I don't know, it's just a ground it, to push back on. It is a good right? outlet, Which is though. that false power that they're trying to grant these typically poor people, no. right? Uh, so that they don't see who the real enemy is, yeah. you know, right? Yeah. It is just performative dog shit. It really is. It's I mean, I read Jurassic Park, but that does, doesn't mean I want to go looking for Amber with, with a bug. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want a clone. Oh, I do, though. Life <laughs> finds a way. Um, <laughs> Where do I find Yeah, it? no, all the time. I want to clone bully mammoths or whatever. <laughs> ride around on one. Colin to do Bill. That and making uh, <laughs> meatballs out of it for I, you. I what? Think, yeah. We talked about that like an episode or two ago, didn't we? I think so. Where they were they found some oh, uh, yeah. mammoth DNA and they're oh trying to God. clone it to make meatballs. Yeah, but I don't want to yeah. eat a fucking elephant. That's either. a dick move, yeah. right? I think. Well, I don't, I don't want mean, to know that. Like I mean, if an elephant was charging at me, <laughs> if it was an extinct animal that they yeah. regenerated or whatever yeah. to make it into food, I don't care as long as I like the idea of of you know sort of that replicator <laughs> thing, right? Where sure. you can clone yeah. an animal rather. Than yeah. killing it because then we can get rid of chicken farms yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and dairies and yeah. all that kind of I stuff. Remember, yeah. I remember a year ago there was some some Republicans going on a, on a tangent about how 3D printing is 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 like going too far because that's the devil. Somebody is is figured out a way to 3D print um, uh, non beef steak. It looks and smells and, and tastes like steak, but is not. Is made, it plant based? It's or? plant based. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's like they're gonna make us all eat, you know, you know. Soy, we're gonna be soy boys. <laughs> yeah, they're like, it's, it's gonna, and the, 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 the thing is, is, they were thinking it was gonna ch you know, eating this this stuff was gonna change our DNA, and we're right. no longer gonna oh be human. God. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Why do they, see if they only took that part way, it would be something that an argument that could actually catch uh, some uh, catch some you know and, traction. But it's like <laughs> we'll not be human. We'll be chimera. Man, pig, dog, 
fucked. Man bear pig. <laughs> it's fucked. Uh, I'm being totally zero right now. now. Why are we oh racing to the intellectual bro- bottom? Why yeah. are we doing it? Why? I don't know. I don't know. I do know this. In Red Dead, <laughs> in Red Dead Redemption, there is a man bear pig. That's is that really? Yeah, there's a there's a sort of a secret room. <laughs> oh, my there's God. A house out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and you have to know to, like, jump up on, like, a wagon. And then you get up on a balcony and crawl through a window. So it's kind of a hidden area. But the inside is, like, a laboratory. And hanging on the wall is this man bear pig. Oh, man. Yeah, somebody's right. created it. It's just funny. That's hilarious. Well, you know how South Park did that Tastes originally. Like, <laughs> like, like, last year they did a... a a, a follow up episode where they kind of apologized to to, to um, Al Gore. No, oh, really. <laughs> like we're so sorry we called you stupid and, and, and delusional. Oh man. He's like I was totally right. There is a man bear pig. <laughs> <laughs> it's half man, half bear, half pig. <laughs> 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 I, love those, I love Trey and Matt. Those guys are fucking hilarious. Yeah. Have you seen their the, the new newest movie? What was the latest one? It was the, the, the cred. The the pandemic one? No. Or are you talking about no, the one after that? It was one. a yeah. cred. Something. Uh, it was cred and then they did the something. Panda-verse. The panda <laughs> the panda verse yeah. is the newest one. I haven't seen it. I that. thought cred was came out after that. Was, I don't no, know. No, cred, uh, it was before that. It was before that. Okay. It, was, it was actually part of this uh, last season. And Uh-oh. is this is, is the series still going? Yeah, this, oh, they're uh, season twenty six right now. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, Started in nineteen ninety seven and wow. still going. We should be so lucky. Yeah. Well, I mean, it took them a while to make their first buck. (laughs) I mean, Uh, just a couple of bucks. A couple of dollars. Yeah. All we need to do is get some people that want to, like, sponsor the podcast, and we'll talk about your product, man. Yeah. 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 Or a range of fight between them. Yeah, Mike Mattel. We'll, we'll require payment up front, but yeah, yeah. we'll be happy yeah, we'll, to have you We'll on. gladly, oh, we'll gladly sh- you know, tell people to not buy your pillow. Yeah, one of my favorite matches of gathering, uh, uh, I guess podcasts or whatever, but they have a show on uh, the nitpicking nerds. But, uh, oh, God, who's the guy from Boston with all the face tattoos that the kids love? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, Malone? Post yeah, Malone? Post Malone. Post Malone. Threw a big chunk of change. Wow. Yeah, it's great. Nice. Post Malone. I, I play Magic the Gathering, too. Uh, or Hasbro. <laughs> Malone. We'll advertise every product line Hasbro has Malone. ever made. We love them all. Not lying. But he got a pass. Not lying. Well, Kinda. speaking of money. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this, is, this hit me hard. Uh, since 2020, the wealth of the five richest people in the world has grown over 114%. Wow. Has grown. That is of five people. Of five people. Huh. Yeah, that's eight hundred and sixty-nine b- 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 billion dollars wow. that they have gained since twenty twenty. Wow. Well, that so seems dumb. Doesn't less it? than less than four years, right? Um, and pandemic years. In pandemic years. Yeah. Uh, while on the flip side, nearly five billion of the poorest people globally have become poorer. <laughs> I mean, the five money's got to go. Yeah. Five <laughs> billion people have gotten poor. Have gotten poor. <laughs> there, well, I mean, obviously, not. You can't say the correlation is not always causality. No, but but I mean, yes, of course, this that is. money's got to come from somewhere, yeah. right? Uh, this is from an annual report by uh, Oxfam. Uh, oh, sure. And then they also say if this trend continues, we could see the first tr- tr- trillionaire within a decade. Hmm. A trillionaire yeah. within a decade. And it would take, uh, at this point, an estimated 230 years, if we just, on the current trajectory, to eliminate poverty altogether. 230 years. To yeah, because it's obviously all. not a priority. The priority yes. is to make trillionaires. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Well, I mean, obviously, because that's what, how the system is designed, right? I mean, I think the Catholic Church already has trillions of dollars. But yeah, but that's talking, not you're, that you're, you're yeah. talking about a private citizen who is yeah, a single native. person okay. uh, as a trillionaire. And that's, so you know, I mean, so dumb. Wouldn't, that, wouldn't, so wouldn't the pub kind of fit that bill right there? You know? Well, but that's not really yeah. his wealth. He can't go spend that somewhere. I, I mean, he probably I mean, he does, could probably though. command it, right? I mean, to some degree. But, but I, all I, that's built up in property around the world. I need a new gold 
bidet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sure, he already has one, right? Beats me. I don't, I don't know. know. No, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, know. I don't think those guys are living terribly, but no. I don't think they're living as high on the hog as like a well, and they're, uh, they're, oil they're oligarch wealth is built or a uranium, in, uh, uranium oligarch. Like, or like Joel Austin or whatever his name is? <laughs> yeah, shit like that. No, those guys are living high on the yeah. hog. Yeah. Uh, most of the Catholic Church's wealth, isn't it built into into land? It's like property, yeah. yeah I would think a lot. And that's, that's but how, they're also sitting on... I mean, literal square miles of treasure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? Sure. Let alone like I'm books sure. and tomes yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. But they got all sorts of cool shit down there. The Church of Scientology yeah. has a lot of land. I, when I was watching that Leah Remini show, they talked about how most of the money in the church has is put into buildings that they don't actually occupy. It's, yeah, oh, it's really, really hard to lose I money. Mean, in, in yeah, real estate's kind of real a great estate. investment. Yeah. They have buildings everywhere in like... And they say that the if you ever go into a building, the only person you're probably ever going to see is the guy sitting at the front desk. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Can't get past him, huh? Oh, man, oh, man. Right. Catholic Church, kick with the little money our way, please. Uh, no, I'm good. I don't need your money. <laughs> Seriously, I don't want, no. I don't want nothing to do with the Catholic Church. Uh, the big Iowa caucuses uh, were, was it Monday night? Was Monday I have no right? idea. Um, and no big surprise, uh, everybody's favorite Donald Trump uh, took over 50. I think he took 51% of mm-hmm. the vote. The interesting thing was I think there was only about 100,000 votes yeah. that caucused, which is not yeah. a very large amount. But he did take 51% of that, which blew away all of the others combined, right? Seriously. Well, the only other, it was DeSantis. and It was DeSantis, Haley, yeah. and uh, Swarmy. What's his yeah, name? Yeah, but he's not going Rama, anywhere. Rama Swarmy. Rama yeah. Ramaswamy, he got Barbara like eight percent, but he's yeah, suspended he's, his campaign. Yeah, no, he's not. Going. But if you look at it, oh, did you go really? <laughs> uh, his campaign at eight percent because he ran as I'm Donald Trump Jr. Basically, right? He's like I'm the Trump candidate that's not Trump. So if you pool his with Trump, it's like fifty nine percent. Right, that's kind of where the breakdown is, and I know DeSantis. But it's is, uh, the most super motivated people to get out. It was an ice storm, and a hundred thousand people. Really should was. they really be able to steer? I don't. It's, know. it's such an over yeah. get the uh, overweighted thing. It's states. weird. It's and I don't weird. know how many. Right. What do they have? Like three. Uh, uh, I, I know the parties figure it out differently during the caucuses and the primaries, but I don't know what. How much you know uh, way really weight that yeah, has sure, sure, with sure. the entire thing, but it's kind of that. Right, it's more than it deserves. I know, but it's just yeah, dumb. it's just yeah, dumb. And so, I understand that constitutionally that's how it's set up, but it's yeah. like it's real. Well, that's how the party antiquated do, right? system. Yeah, the, the party party. Yes, the party but, gets you. But we allow each state to set its own time yes, frame, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, which is fine. That's I guess, but it, I don't know. It's just a weird. It's weird, and God bless Iowa. I ain't knocking Iowa, but it's like. We got to be realistic about how much momentum a hundred thousand people can Should put on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now it's on to New Hampshire, which yeah. is another small state. Yeah, and depending on how many people show up, because yeah. Iowa's got a lot more than a hundred thousand eighteen-year-olds in it. I would think right? so. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, there's some there's yeah, people big college in there. towns and yeah. stuff like that. Oh yeah. So. so that's not that great of a turnout, yeah. you know. And it's not the same as just voting, voting. You go out, you, it takes hours and hours and hours and hours. You got to hang out and, you know. That's true. It's, we it's a weird, here. it is, it's a weird system. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we had caucus we need, here when Obama ran the first yeah. time. And I went to that in my precinct and convinced everybody that uh, Hillary Clinton wasn't the answer. Jeez. <laughs> I was like, we go, We went from Bush, Bush to Clinton, Clinton, Bush, Bush, and now you guys want to go back to Clinton. Can we get some new blood in there, please? Sure. So yeah. Oh, who do you who do you think will be like the uh, the Democratic person that other than Joe Biden? Do you think it'll just be Joe Biden against him or like? Yeah. I, there was one guy, was he in North Dakota, was he Montana? Where was he? Uh, I don't know. It's there's not one guy that declared, but he's yeah. not going anywhere. No. And, and the, the party's not going to support anybody no. else. Because, I mean, Biden, you know, he, it's he's, not, he's not polling great. No. But if gas is cheap, he'll fucking stomp the shit out of, uh, out of Trump. Yeah, he really will. But uh, I'm not. I'm not too worried about that. I'm more worried about him having a health crisis between now and then, sure. yeah. or just doing something dumb. But uh, yeah. and overall, it does. And I was thinking about this today. <laughs> I really don't like defending the Biden administration because I'm not really a 
uh, center or third way Democrat or whatever you want to call him, right? right? right. And he's just recently kind of had a lot of um, political progressive awakenings or whatever, and at least he's talking a decent talk. Meh. Uh, yeah, but then he leans back on his kind of right, and the you know a lot of. I don't know. It's tough. I mean, but, but there's no doubt in my mind he is handling all the international stuff better than a Donald Trump administration would. Well, and that's right? why the, two-party systems kind of stink, right? Yeah, because, no, we need ranked choice, choice voting yes. as soon as possible. Yeah, because— And it's totally constitutionally allowed. No, no one candidate is going to fit the bill for everybody, right? Unless you're a Trumper. I guess maybe it does. I don't know. But it doesn't really. And in yeah. the end, it's yeah. it's not going to work in our favor. Right. Uh, uh, a wannabe dictator like Trump, especially one as inept as Donald Trump and as corrupt as his administration was, is not going to be good for the United States. No. It's really not. No. You can't even fake it. You know what I mean? It's not. And we're too important to allow for such a thing. Just go, ah, stick it to the man. Fuck it, we'll have a joker in there again. Right. You know what I mean? Smash everything up a little bit. Ha, ha, ha. It's like we're too big of a deal. We are the last remaining superpower, like it or not. We are the economic superpower on the planet, like it or not. That's the way it is. And the direction the United States goes, the planet goes. So we can either do it in a smart way or we can do it in a brutish way. Yeah. And we need to make that decision, right? Yep. And I'm not pro Biden. Don't get me wrong, but uh, right. but he's yeah. his administration is a, a better thousand times than honest than to God, honest, honest, all day, I, every day. Yeah, I, I I've seen many people post videos where they're like, I I'm not voting Donald Trump, but I don't really care one way or another about Joe Biden. But if he's the only choice for Democratic voting, I'm voting for him. Oh yeah, I think that's yeah. that's reasonable. And, and I think we all should vote. Even if you don't like the guy, as long as he's you know, not the other guy, you yeah. know? Yeah, and, and yeah. it's that hold your nose and pull the lever, but it's really, I mean, you got to look at what the what the direction that you want the huh. country to go in, right? Do you uh -huh. want a dictator, or do you want somebody that's at least going to keep democracy Can I call you Dick, along? or should I call you Mr. Tater? Yeah. I like yeah. Dick. Yeah. Richard Tater. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it, and I guarantee it, even the worst times in our democracy are better than the best times under any dictatorship. Yeah. Honest yeah. to God, dude, for the vast majority of us, yeah. right? A tiny, 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 tiny sliver of people will get taken along on very shaky ground because mm -hmm. dictators are famously moody, <laughs> right? And they rule by whim. Yeah. So when they want you dead, you're dead, right? right? When they want to steal your assets, they just take them, yeah. right? It's like... That's the trouble with uh, uh, allowing some powerful person to spit in the face of the rule of law is because they can and will take your shit. Yeah. Yep. Well, very historic. Yep. And speaking of history, there's a few things that happened this week in history. I haven't done this for a little while. Uh, back in 1778, uh, Captain James Cook discovers Hawaii. Oh. And he names it quickly the Sandwich Islands because of their canned meat uh, that you put between a couple <laughs> of slices of white. No. <laughs> Spams. <laughs> spam sandwiches. Spam. I'm not a big spam fan, but... Uh, so what was the sandwich? Thing? The sandwich is named after a lord sandwich or something like that. An a English nobleman. All right. Yeah. Named That's after. where the word sandwich comes from. It's a, from a person. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. The yeah. Earl of Sandwich. Does that sound right? Yeah. yeah right. Maybe it was an Earl. Yeah, okay. that might be it. And yeah. did he end up getting eaten, Cook? <laughs> I'm not kidding. I thought the Hawaiians killed him. I don't him. know. Did they eat him? I don't know. Nah, or at least they killed him dead, right? Yeah, I don't think they cooked him like a pig, but, you know, they probably, well, would, they yeah. probably buried him in the dirt. It works as a deterrent. Leaves. It does. <laughs> Put an apple in his mouth. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, 1942. Yeah, because their last king was Kamehameha, right? Isn't that how all uh, that goes? The, uh, was it the king or the queen? I don't know. I don't remember. It beats me. I, I've I, never I been to Hawaii. We didn't really yeah. learn too much about Hawaii in special ed. <laughs> Well, that's a shit. We didn't learn too much about Hawaii. And any, not, yeah, yeah and regular, no. yeah. You know, or whatever. Yeah. So. Uh, 1942, uh, the Nazi officials met in the Berlin suburb of Wannsee. Wan Wanasi, Wanasi, to decide the final solution of the Jewish question. So I read, I was reading a book. I mean, it seems so dirty when you say it like that. And I can't remember the book, but they talked about, and I think it was Eric Larson. 
It was an Eric Larson book. Um, I'll think of it later. But anyway, yeah, they talked a lot about that that meeting. It was a fuck? casual fucking yeah. meeting at a hotel yeah. in this suburb of Berlin. They're all having fucking tea and crumpets and, and yeah. you know, nice meal. And they're talking about the, the Jewish Liquidation problem and what they're going to do. Five yeah. million Just people. Fucking crazy. It's insane. It's just what insane. What the fuck? What is wrong with people? Yeah. Do you think the termites sit around going, you know what? We're going to go get rid of that anthill over there. The yeah. final, yes, they yeah. drink their fucking moldy tea right. or whatever. Right. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with human beings. I, I mean, I think We're nuts. ants can be very territorial, but I don't think they go out of their way to take somebody out yeah. unless they're in their own personal space. Something. Yeah. yeah. Bonkers. Bonkers. Uh, 1962, the United States began using defoliation in uh, the Vietnam jungles. Uh, Agent Orange. In what it, year? In 1962. Uh, that's when they first had their uh, uh, advisors there. Yeah. And what they were trying to do was figure out the supply lines from north to south. So they were trying to take down the jungle. So, but Agent Orange was the thing that a lot of... So, that, so, so Agent that. Orange was essentially Nair for the jungle. Yeah, uh, kind of. Yeah, it's just a gnarly, right? uh, yeah, gnarly probably, roundup yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of a thing. Yeah, yeah. Just killed every. Just all to the, try to kill all that. All foliage. the, all the, all the vegetation. So yeah, gross. yeah. Just nuts. That was 1962, and 62. they continued okay. using that all the way through. I think into the early 70s. Yeah, so another 10 years. So, yeah. did did the that part of the jungle recover at all, or did I'm it, sure the jungle's fucking crazy the way it can retake over stuff. Like I knew a dude that was in Jonestown, so I've studied a lot of Jonestown stuff, and uh, you see like where the where the buildings used to be. You can't even see them anymore because it's all reclaimed. You can see like little pieces of the frame like modern pictures of it you oh, know? Wow. it it so they could probably quick. find it using some lidar but but beyond that you're not gonna uh, yeah see it. in fact they uh somebody just discovered down in south america some uh hidden cities I yeah i guess so city. yeah i remember I, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the expedition unknown did an episode about that oh this is and this is even it was that recent because this is in like the last year in or the two, last yeah. couple, of a couple of weeks yeah. yeah oh it's even more yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. probably the same people because they were they yeah, found they, stuff a couple years ago i guess you'd be looking over that yeah yeah yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool stuff. Because that's satellite stuff, right? I would think. Or, or they have some lidar. Kind of lidar is basically know. like lasers, and it and it like spreads out like a. It does like a, a a fan effect where it just kind of and they map it like scan back and forth like you're mowing the lawn, and then the computer runs it all together and then it makes a 3D map because yeah. it it bounces back where the. Where the, uh, the topography changes. The topography so. changes. And is it, that it, from a satellite or from an airplane? It's from an airplane or yeah. or a yeah. drone. Because the, the, the yeah, episode I was watching, sure. they they used like one of those big fucking like six feet across drones. Oh yeah. And it had like the five or six inches. Kind of on carry it. missiles. <laughs> oh no no not not like yeah. not that kind of drone like like the quad quadcopter, but they have oh, like sure. six six or seven blades on them, and they're they're about four or five feet across, and it has a big massive machine underneath that does the lidar stuff and. Hmm. That's yeah. neat. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty cool. It's pretty cool can, technology. Can we put an R-Town sticker on the side of that thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we probably have to pay for it, though. <laughs> Yeah. Slap it on there. Yeah. So that it shows up on the next episode yeah. of uh, yeah, they're like Expedition Unknown. Discovered in South America, 9,000-year-old city with our town gear. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, 1979, the Shah leaves. I consider flees uh, Iran, oh, yeah. right? Jeez. Uh, yeah. And did, he went to, Did he, he didn't go to America. Did he go to France or Jordan or something? I want to say it was France. I don't yeah, remember now. Yeah. Just a couple of years later, Ronald Reagan uh, is sworn in as president this yeah. week, back in 81. At the same time, 52 American hostages huh. are released from their captors in huh. Tehran. That's go a, figure. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. How'd that Things happen? Things that make you go, hmm. Oh, my God. And then he had all this... <laughs> Propaganda push behind him because he's tough on crime. Yeah, it's like no, because this well, guy's made a fucking deal. Right, Did, right. Didn't they? Didn't they? Didn't they? Uh, they do something to uh, uh, Carter because he was trying to get those people out, and they they pushed. They were they did something to prevent him from being able to do it. But then as soon as Reagan got into office, he was able to get it done. Yeah, he sent his minions over, and they they cut a deal with uh, Tehran uh, to hold off on releasing the yeah. hostages. So they sold cocaine. After. They imported and sold cocaine to buy weapons yeah. to give to the Iranians uh, 
So the Iranians would hold Americans and then release Americans. After, yeah. after he's elected, yeah, 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 because uh, Jimmy Carter tried everything. He had a, a Delta Force assault yeah. ready to go, and yeah. that was a disaster. Was a disaster. Uh, yeah, uh, disaster. Uh, d- tried everything he could, but uh, yeah, yeah. When you got a deal like that, it's like, well, just we'll hold them for. An, yeah, that was awful. Uh, just that was awful. Yeah. Well, speaking of war, 1991 Desert Storm begins this yes. week. Way back, wow. man. I had a couple of buddies that actually were over there in yeah. Saudi Arabia and elsewhere. Uh, yeah, I knew. I knew a couple of people that went over i don't know whatever happened with them because i never saw them after that mm-hmm. but beyond that i know some people that went over yeah and in 2001 just short 23 years ago boys uh wikipedia goes on oh jeez and in 2002 the first misinformation was posted to wikipedia <laughs> oh really <laughs> no i'm kidding i don't know yeah. Yeah, yeah. Somebody juiced up there. <laughs> I, you know, it's, it's yeah. weird. You know, I use it a lot, though. I, I still do. I go I on there them five bucks a year when they finally beg me into it. Yeah, yeah. I, I've never sent them money, but I, I, I go on there when I can't find some information elsewhere. I typically, when I'm looking up stuff, I'm looking up actors and movies and yeah, stuff. So exactly. I'm always on IMDb. Yeah. Did you know that IMDb is is, is crowdsourced as far as information? I did not know that. It's very similar to Wikipedia. Oh, I didn't oh. know that. Yeah. yeah. It, it's harder for me to navigate than Wikipedia. IMDb. Wikipedia is a lot easier, I think, to navigate. Think since, it is for me. So it's well, a lot since, plainer, too. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, there's also a lot more advertising on IMDb. Yeah. Uh, and it, huh. it used to be a lot easier to navigate, but I think in the last, I think, five or six years, they tried to change the, the GUI of it, the graphic user interface. Mm. And, uh, and I don't know, it's... It, there used you used to be able to look up like connections to a movie. So if if you know if it's been a spinoff or it's a, connected to any other content, whether it be TV or movie or book or whatever, and filming locations and all that stuff is on there. But you have to go down like two or three layers to find that stuff now. Oh man. Boys, do you want to give out some advice? Oh, Let's, yeah, I read this. <laughs> oh, got, my God, dude. We got a guy uh, sent us uh, a question to get some. And I was, you know, all right, well, we'll just dive into it. How about that? Uh, yeah. He writes, guys, I'm not sure what is going on. I think my wife has found out about my girlfriend. Uh, Let me explain. You're the asshole. She told me in the past that I could see whomever I want as long as she doesn't find out. Yeah. I've had a few girlfriends since we've been married almost 15 years. Here's the crappy thing. I think my girlfriend tipped her off to make her mad so she will divorce me. I can't prove it, though. I don't want to break up with her, but I love and need my wife. Have any of you been in a polyamorous situation? I'm not sure what to do. That's not polyamorous, what you're describing. That is like stepping out on your wife. I'm not sure what to do. Any advice considered? Yeah, no, I agree with you, Todd. I mean, I dated several women at one time, and I wouldn't consider that a polyamorous. Polyamorous is everyone knows who's. Yeah. Who's involved? Yeah. So, yeah. And, and, and it's yeah. upfront. By the, it's upfront, it's upfront, upfront and honest, it. yeah. and and usually, yeah. and I have friends that are poly. So, um, not only do are they upfront and honest, but they also have a say in whether or not you can be relate in a relationship with another person, and they have to be yeah. aware of everybody. Yeah, I, I, this is it sounds like one time she was drinking fifteen years ago, <laughs> and was like, "I don't care, honey. I don't care. As long as I don't know." <laughs> yeah. But yeah. she didn't really mean it. So yeah. he, he, and this he, also means that your girlfriend doesn't care if she torpedoes your life. That's true. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because if, if she makes you break up with your wife, does yeah. that automatically mean you're going to hook up with this girlfriend who torpedoed your fucking life? Yeah. Right? Why would you? You'd be nuts to know. do so. It's like, yeah, no, so now she's a problem. And you need yeah. to find someone out of it before she goes Glenn Close. This guy also is giving polyamory <laughs> a bad name because what he's doing is not polyamory. No. Yeah, uh, I, my only advice, dude, is is be honest with your wife. Uh, let her know what's going on, and uh, I know she didn't want to know, but you you owe it to her yeah. to be honest with her and let her know. And you know, I think that's a conversation that you need to have. Uh, not one time 15 years ago as Mike yeah, is sort of suggesting. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah. of something that needs to be uh, if, if she does, if she truly doesn't care, then more power to you, right? Um, but I, I 
think I'm reading it like Mike is a little bit that that this was maybe a conversation you had when you were yeah. young and first starting out. Has, has and, he been fibbing about it ever since? I, I, it sounds like he's been keeping it yeah. everything from her. I yeah. think I think he asked her when she was exceedingly loaded and <laughs> was not which, aware which, of her. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying you shouldn't do that. Right? <laughs> I'm just, but you said. I'm, I'm just saying if if you had the conversation with her when she was sober. And she said those things, yeah. I would say that's probably okay. And 15 years later, <laughs> yeah. right? Because people it's grow still, and, yeah. and yeah, this things is, change. change. Yeah. 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 This is so, and, if, and if you legitimately think you're in, in a polyamorous relationship, this is something you have to like communicate a, yes, yes, all the time. As, like, as hey, a, I, yes. I, I met this person. We, we were vibing. It was cool. I want you to meet them. I, yeah. What, what he's having is an affair yes. that may or may not be sanctioned by the wife as long as she doesn't know uh, about Well, it, I'm right? going to say it's not sanctioned. It's not sanctioned I because, don't know. because I, now I, he's worried the wife is pissed. Yeah. That, right? That's right. Like tipped yeah. her off, meaning that it was a secret thing. I, yeah. I, I Sanction think, at least implies that uh, it's not secret. I think you should come clean, dude. I think you should own it and say, look, this is what's going on. Just FYI, yeah, and 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 own it. And you know, when she gets mad at you. She gets mad at you. Yeah, and and I'm I'm I think somebody mentioned a minute ago. If if you, I would confront your girlfriend. And if your girlfriend has been the one that tipped off, I think Mike was talking about. Is that a relationship you want? Somebody that's trying to yeah. torpedo your life yes. like that? That's not a relationship that's helpful. That's, a, that's nice. the biggest yeah. red flag on her. Yeah, 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 no matter yeah. who you're with, you have to trust. Yeah, them, right. And you got to be able to tell your girlfriend, hey, I. I love my wife. I'm not leaving her. If you want to be in this relationship, great. But this is what I have to offer. Yeah. Right? We yeah. can you have screw. To be up front. We can go date yeah, once in a while. Whatever it might be. Yeah, sure. It has to be up front, yeah. though. Be they curious. have to know ahead of time. Yeah. And, and that that it, it might seem crunchy at the beginning or whatever, but it's liberating yeah. to be honest with people. It really is. It seems yeah. a little uncomfortable at first, but it, it nips, it prevents a whole and bunch. And you know what? It really does. The, the few times where I thought, man, I'm going to get in so much fucking trouble if I don't say something and I said something and they go oh yeah okay yeah, really man. really I mean that's it you know I'm a man? big a big believer in the honesty yeah. Yeah. it's like Todd said it's you know it's it's worth just laying it out there and getting instead of bottling it up and then they find out they're gonna find out anyway eventually, telling you right? yeah. it, it happens it just is something or something they'll, they'll just know or they know. know they just know so. right it's yeah. like a wife comes home and it's like, who ate the last cupcake? And I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's fucking you. No, I, I yeah. don't know. Maybe the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe as, the kid. As, a burglar. As, as he's wiping off the icing <laughs> off his top yeah. lip. Oh, it was invisible God. ninjas yeah. from outer space. Obviously. Why would you even ask? <laughs> the gaslighter with it. It, it, was, it was Jewish space lasers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Burned it down. Dude, you got a lot of, you got a lot of inner life uh, searching to do and figure out. Um, and I think that if you really love uh, your wife as you say you do and you need her, then you really need to be honest with her yeah. and figure out uh, yeah. what it what it's going to take to keep that relationship. And, or, or, uh, or just try to get rid of this problematic girlfriend. Yeah. And if yeah. you don't have to explain to your wife, <laughs> just consider yourself well, really lucky. Well, she already lucky. knows. I don't, yeah, what, I think she it knows. She said, uh, uh, here's the crappy thing. I think my girlfriend tipped her off. Off, uh, found out. She says she found out about my girlfriend. The wife has found out, and she he thinks it's the girlfriend that tipped off the wife. Yeah, I, I honestly I think you should dump that bitch. The the the, the, yeah, the side try chick not to get stabbed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, dump the side chick and like own up to your your fuck ups with your wife. Yeah, and hopefully, I mean, if she loves you and it's a yeah. solid relationship, hopefully you guys will stay together. And yeah, and if she really meant happy, it 15 years ago when she said it, then that's great. Yeah. yeah. And you can and just move forward and go, well, sorry. Can, if, yeah. if, if something else like this happens somewhere way down the yeah. line, honey, yeah. then I'll be upfront with you about it. But, right, and I'll try to stay away from psychos. But the big yeah. thing with polyamory is that there's 100% transparency. There is no yeah. hiding shit. Right. Period. Yeah. Which, I don't know, that sounds pretty adult to me, don't Yeah. Yeah. All right. I know, bummer. Where, where, where's, the, where's the fun of adulthood in relationships? Come on. <laughs> no, we all just want to be young at heart. Yeah. No. I mean, yeah, don't be married. If, if, if you need to fuck around and date a bunch of women, don't be married. That's right. another thing. Don't, be, know, don't commit yourself to one person if you can't commit yourself yeah. to one person. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
Because because I don't know beats me. Because everybody's dynamic is differently is different. But uh, sure. I don't know. Because yeah, what about her family? Are they gonna look at her funny for like hanging Allowing with the guy this it, this yeah, way? Yeah. You know, blah blah blah. It's right. Like, I don't know. Yeah, no There's mention a lot of, of consideration. Kids, right? There was no mention of kids or anything. No. Like that, yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we don't know enough about their relationship no. and stuff. But, but except just, that she's mad. That she's mad. So yeah. that kind of yeah. just says that something wasn't as as uh, open, or uh, uh, the the agreement wasn't what this guy yeah. thinks the agreement was, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Or she wouldn't be mad. And maybe if she didn't really, care, she didn't maybe, care. Maybe yeah. it really was that if, as long as she was in the dark, it was fine. But yeah. now she's not in the dark anymore. But I, I, I kind of that, find that hard. Yeah, I find that hard to believe because there's no way I he do doesn't smell well, yeah. like this other lady once in a while, or yeah. you know what I mean. Oh, it's yeah. like I mean, there's so you, you know what I mean. Late. It's like yeah, you can't. I don't know. <laughs> either either he's he he has become a drag queen. And smells like cocoa butter, or he's got a new girlfriend. Well, maybe, yeah. uh, hey. maybe ah, cocoa. Butter. Maybe he's a drag queen and doesn't <laughs> review show. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, his, see, he's got a split personality. That is yeah. his new girlfriend. That's his new girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. All I can say is get your shit together, dude. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Jeez. Jump on it. Sharing is caring, boys. Any oh. new things that you've come so, across? The premiere episode of After Midnight was on last night at 12.30 a.m. It's a spinoff or kind of a reboot of the show At Midnight, which was, hmm. think of like Daniel Tosh's show, Tosh.0, where they do internet memes and they poke fun of videos and whatnot. So it's that kind of thing, but with like a panel of people and a, like a game show aspect to it yeah we have a host of the show and you have like comedians who can do improv and, and they show them an image or a video clip and they ask the comedians to kind of come up with an answer to whatever kind of like thing. that ridiculousness with rob Drydeck or whatever his name yeah is. kind of but it was funnier than that okay so yeah i but, never did enjoy that i'd love me some tosh.0 one of my favorite comedians oh, yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah naomi's on tosh yeah yeah, yeah. she's yeah. on an episode yeah oh, Na- really? naomi the piercer lady yeah yeah when she was in yeah. school her and so yeah it, uh, oh yeah, no, Dan- no, Daniel- they had two performers from Gong Show were on Tosh. Wow. Yeah. All right. All the, were they the like, redemptions on Tosh? No, it was something because they were. It wasn't because they were juggalos because they are juggalos, but it was something to do with them being the high school kids. Okay. It's, it's they did, they, yeah. Tosh did an episode going to the uh, the gathering of the juggalos. So were they on that? I don't think. I thought it was from like Ken Continuation High School or oh, something. Okay. Hmm. But no, the, the, it's it's like a game show uh, with like the the videos and the, and the memes, and they get the, the the comedians to improv on the stuff they find on the internet. And it's really the original show was really really funny. This being the premiere episode, there was a lot of it that I was like, oh, okay, that's not. Uh, okay, it's not funny. But uh, towards the end of the episode, it started to kind of uh, really get some... Gel a little better. Yeah. Nice. What, what channel is that? It's on right after Colbert. Oh, all right. On, uh, so tonight Paramount? at 1230, there's going to be a new episode. Okay. Is so that a Paramount the, thing? What is that? It's uh, CBS. Okay. Okay. You see it on Paramount or something? Uh, Paramount it's probably Paramount Plus. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, you can also find it on online. You just search, go on to YouTube and search for After Midnight. And, uh, and uh, what is the host name? It is... God, I don't know. Either way, it's a, it's a funny show. The original show is hilarious. And the original show is on Comedy Central and um, Paramount Plus. So if you want to check out At Midnight, it's on there. Nice. Uh, Mike, I don't know about you. I watched the first episode of the new season of True Detective. Have you seen? No, because there's only one episode out, so I I know. I because I I thought about waiting, and I was looking to see if there's anything else on there I want to see. And so you can wait till they're all there. Okay, Uh, it was good. Uh, It wasn't. It didn't bowl me over, but it you know first episode you got to introduce to all the characters and stuff. (laughs) Jodie Foster does a magnificent job. There is a gal that's on the show, and I think she's a professional boxer or a kickboxer or a UFC fighter uh-huh. and uh, she's a fucking badass uh, right she's a native uh, gal um, don't can't remember her name but <laughs> she's second billing on the show uh-huh. and she does a dynamite job uh, acting nice um, but she's also a badass uh, you know B word so yeah. Huh. yeah she's a badass right. bitch is that yeah, what you well, like Jody that. speaking of you know the finest actors of our time, mm-hmm. right? She's amazing. Yeah. So I heard Burt Reynolds turned down the uh, prostitute role in Taxi Driver, <laughs> and it went to Jody. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah. Oh man, that movie's rough. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, I've yeah, been god watching the uh, Sopranos. Have you guys ever seen the Never Sopranos? Never did. No. People love it. I, you know, I, I know it ranks up there on people's like uh, Mount Rushmore of TV shows. We've only watched the first two episodes, and I'm like, eh, okay. I mean, it's good. But it's not, I'm not wowed by it. Yeah, maybe. And part of the problem is, is it came out in '99, so it feels a little dated. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. But I mean, the acting's good. It's kind of a interesting sort of funny look. At, it's not a funny show, but it's a funny look at, at Goombas and so, the whole mafiosa. Is it set in the modern age? It or? is, yeah. Okay. It's set when it came out in 99. Right. Right. So, uh, but it's got Michael Imperioli, right? That's his name. And uh, what's the main guy? Tony Soprano. They died recently. Uh, God. Uh, yeah, Jesus. Uh, James Gandolfini. Jesus. Right? Yeah. Well, he, uh, his son... You did the movie, right? Did the prequel movie, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Playing his part. Uh, I mean, we're we're gonna keep watching. It's not like, oh my god, this is horrible, but it's it feels dated, hmm. you know, and maybe that's just the issue of watching it, you know, twenty years. I think it's the twenty fifth anniversary. Wow, that's so crazy. it's kinda crazy. Uh I also watched The Wire uh last fall and it was kind of the same thing. Everybody's like, Oh, the wire's the greatest show ever. But I'm watching it just it just felt kinda dated and hmm. it felt a little disjointed. Yeah. And and because I watched it, I think if I had watched it episodically when it came out and then had like the seasons to wait, but I watched it straight through, right? Sure. Binged it. And it just felt disjointed because, you know, I didn't have that time to, to sure, marinate sure, sure, and stuff, yeah. you know, and you're like, oh, well, didn't that guy just say this like <laughs> two episodes ago, but it was a season ago. Uh, so I don't know. Yeah. But, it uh, is, and that's different. So I, and I bet, you know, that is taken into consideration when yeah. producing, uh, episodes these yeah. days, right? Yeah. It's because binging does put a different it, perspective it really on does. it. Really yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Well, and, yeah. I, and I did watch like the, the, the uh, Godfather movies a couple of years back and, and largely because I was talking to people who were like, oh my God, these are the greatest movies ever. It's like, all right. I I didn't watch them as a kid because I was a kid, you know? And, uh, <laughs> yeah. and uh, that's when they came out is when I was like five or six or whatever. And, uh, I mean, they're okay. I mean, I, that's I really I'm, like them now. I like the storyline. Um, they might be a little long. Um, yeah, maybe that's why I didn't I really know. care for it because it, it, it was like, is this is this movie still going? <laughs> you know, <laughs> take a nap and wake up and it's still on. Still, sure. somebody's crying <laughs> yeah, about something yeah. and uh, yeah. 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 But they are they're character driven dramas, right? right? It's just yeah. a different feel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it is. Yeah. and that's fine. It's just a different I, thing. And it was like I watched those like legitimately like a few weeks before Scorsese had some chosen words about like the Marvel movies. Like, oh, you asshole. <laughs> you know? And if, remember, people still misquote people. Oh, no. He, yeah. There's there's audio of him saying these things. Oh, uh, so. well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, I don't and, know. I, I can like both. I'm not ashamed to like egghead shit and well, yeah, fun sure. stuff, right? Yeah. I, I still like Ernest Scared Stupid and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I make no apologies about it. I it's think like, uh, uh, Ernest Joins the Army is the more superior <laughs> the, the, uh, of the film series, but <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, Vern. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know. Because I can... Jim I, I can enjoy all of the above. Yourself. I really can't. I don't want to limit myself. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, and it, it, it was more or less. You know, he was saying how like it's all the same people and it's all the same shit. It's it's just regurgitated all over again. It's like, have you not seen your movies? It's all the same shit, the same people. Hmm. Well, I, I don't think in either of hmm. those franchises uh, it's that way. I mean, I think the Marvel stuff was pretty clever when actually you, when for, you, when you for being see, big budget stuff. When you right? see like De Niro, Joe Pesci, and 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 uh, and uh, how was the other guy's name? Um, Harvey Keitel, scaring children. No, no, Ray no. Ray Liotta. No, um, who are? Uh, oh, Pacino. 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 <laughs> Sorry, that's the only thing I can think Hoo-ah! of. Like, you yeah. knew exactly who I was talking about. Well, those three guys. You yeah. know, they're all. It, when you get together, it's it's always a Scorsese film, right? Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it could be. I mean, it, and it, da- or David similar. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Yeah, who did Dog Day Afternoon? Is that David Mamet? And that was an exceptional a fucking film great too. movie. Uh, I haven't even heard of that. Yeah, that, that's that cool. That's been. that's early on in the uh, yeah. trans in world. Jim Cazale, right? Uh, like right? Did, yeah, was, sure which enough. was the one? It was Deer Hunter when Cazale was uh, yeah. dying, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. 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 And he was dating uh, 
uh, princess uh, of film, queen of American film, Meryl Streep. He was dating because wasn't she in? Wow, she was in Deer Hunter too, right? Oh man, I don't and I think they were I... dating. Jeez, um, but yeah, he had uh, some cruel disease. I don't remember so, cancer or something. The reason behind me watching those movies because I had at that point I had just watched The Joker, and like if if you like that, you should watch these movies because mm. that movie basically lifted everything mm. from these movies. Yeah, and I was like, okay, I'll check them out, and I'm like, mm. not for you, I, not for everybody. Yeah, obviously. I uh, mean. I, the, the Joker, the Joker wasn't like a a superhero movie per se because it was about this guy who was well, his descent into madness. He's right? like completely yeah. losing his sanity. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't sane to begin with, but he was. He stopped getting his medication because you know government decided to stop giving him his insurance and whatnot. No, yeah, no, and he was. I mean, actively delusional yeah. and hallucinating. So it's a good movie, though. Yeah, that's Todd. Uh, uh, Todd. Uh, yeah. Todd, I think it's uh, Fisher. Todd Selnick or... Uh, Fisher, isn't it Fisher? I can't remember. He did a fine job. There. The, the, the I, was, I don't think I would ever watch that again. The, yeah, I, I only, I've only seen it twice because good. somebody else wanted to see it and, and they wanted me to go with them. I was like, yeah. I guess I'll go see it again. Hmm. But no, the sequel's coming out this year. Hmm. And it has Lady Gaga playing Harley oh, Quinn. Oh, like Gaga. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gaga, please come on the program. Yeah, right. I would oh, absolutely. The, I think I would have trouble talking though. Yeah. <laughs> she's the deal. But no, they they dropped a teaser trailer for that movie just a few days ago. Mm. She's right on. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. No, I was just I was just thinking about the Sopranos, and I think maybe one of the reasons I'm not uh, like full gusto into it is because I don't like like Todd doesn't like the jock guys, right? Or is it just the twelves? Whatever it is, uh, I don't like the Goomba guys, right? The the it's gold a weird thing to turn into a hero. The gold, yeah, yeah they're they're a weird. Yeah, I don't want to make them a hero because I don't yeah. like hey, forget about yeah, you know yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah. Fugulu or whatever they say. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Fugulu, yeah. right? And they're yeah. racist yeah. and they're just yeah. Uh, yeah, you it know. Is. It's, a, it's a tough sell for me to turn them. They're into they're heroes, just so. meatheads, you know. Yeah, of a different I mean, stripe or whatever, just, but quick yeah. to violence, right? Quick to violence and just flashy. And yeah. uh, you know, just, yeah, it's, it's, and it's just, just kind of tropey. It's, it's, it's that really. trope of machismo, yeah. and like I'm a I'm a badass because yeah, yeah. I have greased hair, and These are I, the guys I have that this I would not enjoy giant watch being yeah. around. But, it but, but it's also it hasn't been my world growing up, right? Yeah. And I would say the same for like the NWA guys, right? It's like sure. it's just not my world. It's not the people I hang out with. Yeah. It's like. I don't know, but yeah, it's, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it is. It, but they've, the Italian mobster guys, they have a great PR team because <laughs> they've been American yeah. favorites yeah. for a long time. For a long time. It's like, yeah. you know, yeah. and I guess anti-hero or something, honor among thieves yeah. or some kind of thing, but I don't know. I it, think, it trips me out a little. It I does. think the people I know that like those movies are also Italian. No, Jesus. So, but there's also, I mean, Italians have done all sorts of great things. Right? And, I, 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 and I would consider and, and organized be, crime one I, of those great I'm things. I'm not talking shit about <laughs> Italians at all. I'm just saying they're into it because they see themselves or their family in those movies. Mm. And I can relate with that with, like, anytime there's an Irish film, my mom would always rent it because it was filmed near grandma's house or whatever. Sure, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I, I, I sure. can. Yeah. I can get that, you know, and I've shown people some movies that are filmed in Ireland. And they go, "You like this? <laughs> where's Where's Grandma's house again? North Seattle? No, uh, oh, in it, Ireland. Oh, in Ireland, Avoca, A V O C A, County Wicklow. Avoca. You, you can also just search for Bally Kiss Angel. It's It's spelled like it sounds. Hmm. All one that was word. My nickname in high school, actually, County uh, Wicklow. The County Bally, Wicklow. Bally Kiss Angel. Bally Kiss Angel. Yeah. Was yeah, a, we're trying to we're trying to plan our routes right now. Right on. That's Let's April. That's uh, yeah. yeah are April. you still going to be able to zoom in? Are you going <laughs> to? It's up to you guys. I don't know if you want to take the week off. I or mean, whatever, yeah. but you know, how long are you gone? Uh, the seventh through the seventeenth. I think. Jeez, I think it's going to be wonderful. Yeah. 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 What about you, Mike? Any new stuff that you've come well, across? Well, just today I had an old, old, old friend kind of reach out, and I think they're oh. really suffering sadness. Yeah, no. So I just want to remind everybody that we all matter to each other. Yeah. And it's not always easy, but i got to remind myself very much to reach out to people. Yeah. And it's I don't do it because I'm mad at them. I don't not reach out because I'm... 
whatever, it just kind of gets off of my radar and I'm doing other things. And that's a personal fault of mine. I sure. apologize. Sure. Uh, I think everybody gets that way. Though. Yeah, man. But uh, I'm going to well. really try to remind myself to reach out to people, right? And I'm not, you know, not to say that I'm, I'm going to lift their boat or whatever, but just because. Just to let them know that they're on my mind, that they count, you know. Yeah. And if, if, you, if you're having... Uh, sadness and you're unable to kind of pull yourself out of it you can always call or text 988 hmm. and that's uh that's a crisis helpline Jeez, that's great Todd. Yeah, yeah for sure just straight 988 that's it text right. or call them yep. Jeez, that's great and or you can call me i mean it you you, shoot me a text if and, you have mike's number then yeah yeah honestly honestly it, at any time i'm not worried about it so nice uh you can, yeah, so, you can text uh, us leave a voicemail yeah yeah for sure and geez, uh, sadness sucks, but sadness doesn't last forever. No. So that's the only good thing about sadness is that it can't possibly last forever. So try to stick through it. Although when you're in that moment, oh, it, it feels it feels like it's never going to go away. It's awful. Yeah. So, but I want to, you know, thank this person for reaching so. out. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm glad they did because yeah, you're a good much. guy and, yep. and, you know, you're a good person to talk to. So. <laughs> Right on. That's what I got. We end it there. That was positive. We can end on that positive. Heck yeah, man. All right. Well, uh, come back uh, in the members only section or go to the Patreon uh, and check out our top five. This uh, top five, and I think this is what we uh, agreed to, was the top five songs that make us think of a particular movie or movie scene, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, That'll be our top five. And then uh, we're also doing our take this week. And I don't know if everybody did their homework. I know Todd did because I think you watched the whole I binged episode, it last right? week, yeah. Uh, is the new series Echo on Disney Plus. Yeah. I only got the first two episodes. All right. done, yeah, but that's so. plenty. So yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Okay. Did you watch the whole thing? I sure did. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. You guys did all kinds of. You guys want extra credit. <laughs> I'm hovering around a C plus, C, C, well, C. Yeah. Uh, so come back. Uh, go to uh, r dash town podcast.com or go to Patreon slash r town. It's patreon.com slash r town podcast. There you go. Go to there and sign up right now. Yes. Yeah. Do it. Thank you. And I uh, appreciate you being here. And we will see you next week. All right. Also, if if we start getting people signing up on Patreon, we'll give you thanks on the end of every episode. Heck yes, yeah. we will. Absolutely. Heck yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's the yeah, end. No, I can get behind that. Right yeah. on. We'll list off everybody. There you go. Send nudes. <laughs> no, don't send them. <laughs> <laughs> send, send, send them. Can I explain that one to the wife? <laughs> Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you think this episode is worth a dollar or five bucks, the boys would love to have it. Please go to ourtownpod.store for merch or to donate now. For less than a cup of coffee, you can also join the website in the member-only area for exclusive bonus content, blogs, and more. It's just $3 a month or $30 a year. Thank you for listening to this production of Our Town Podcast Extraordinaire.